perfection. Maybe not perfect, but it was pretty darn close, and I'm going to pretend that it was. That drive from Bryce Young was perfect. Actually, no, I'm not even going to say it wasn't perfect. For a, a single drive in a preseason, if you were going to tell me that an offense was a, a starting offense was going to have one drive the entire preseason, I think it was perfect. That's not to say mistakes didn't happen because mistakes needed to happen. It's a preseason. You need to pack an entire preseason into one series. Mm-hmm. They did that. And Bryce Young, he 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 did the thing that I, I really, really wanted him to do, which was be smooth with all decision making, in and out of the huddle, uh, look comfortable. He did what I wanted to do, and then he sprinkled in a little bit of the spectacular. He said he said I'm dropped it in there. I, like like Salt Bay, right? The guy that the 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 meme from like five years ago. <laughs> he just he just sprinkled in a little bit of the oh by the way some of those things that the other quarterbacks do that get the world into a frenzy I can mix those in as well. If another young quarterback in the NFL did what Bryce Young did on Saturday specifically the play where he was running full speed to his left, flipped his hips and found Deontay Johnson on the sideline, if certain other young quarterbacks did that, Oh, it'd be Sports Center top ten. It'd be trending. People would be putting up ridiculous captions that say he's the only quarterback in the NFL that could make this throw, even though he's not. If Caleb Williams made that throw, if Aaron Rodgers, if Patrick Mahomes made that throw, heck, even guys like Joe Burrow, oh, if if they made that throw, steamed up, it'd be in slow motion from eight different angles. Dan Orlovsky would do a breakdown of, of 10 minutes of film on how that throw was incredible. For some reason, Bryce Young doesn't get that, but the throw was there regardless. Dave Canales, the head coach of the Carolina Panthers, on what he saw from Bryce and the offense on that early drive. Excellent. Just just fired up for the guys. A great finish. Um, some great situational work, the two minutes before the half. Um, and just want to mention, first off, uh, we had... Pete Hansen, our linebacker. Wrong clip. We'll work on it. Maybe a, a, a mislabel situation. Communication. But see, this is it. This is perfect. Preseason, right? You got to work now, out the now case. Now we have it. Now then, we have now it. Now we're good for the regular season. Here's Dave Canales. Oh, it was great, right? Couldn't have couldn't have dreamt it better. You know, a nice long drive, twelve plays to get the guys some good work, get them tired in the drive. You know, um, a fourth down conversion in there, but saw him extend plays with his legs, keeping his eyes down the field, finding guys, and you can see the carryover from practice to the game of people creating space, the play after the play. Those are the things that are so critical for us. He handled the run ga- run game. Um, with you know, just with great expertise and got us to the right runs in those situations. It was great. Now, let's let's do the obvious thing here. Uh, once you get your your yayas out, it was preseason. It was one series. It was against the Bills backups. But that was never the reason why I was clamoring for them to play in the preseason. It was never get them out there against the eighty-five Bears and make them <laughs> prove themselves. It was. Get them out there so there won't be any surprises on your own sideline once the regular season gets started. And you get to get some of the jitters out. All right? Bryce got hit. I'm not someone that thinks quarterbacks shouldn't get hit until week one. I think you need to get hit. When he stood up, made it back to the line of scrimmage on, on a little scramble, he kind of, I don't know, accepted the hit weirdly. He like put his forehead on the ground. I was going to like lie down here. <laughs> but either way, a little bit of contact. Little Emphasize little bit, but little bit of contact doesn't hey, it doesn't kill anybody, right? The the first couple of series I was going or first couple of plays, excuse me, I was going. They might want to play the first quarter. Uh, David Moore on the kickoff almost fell over. Yeah, he slipped. I'm like, ooh, what is that? Then on the very first play, Bryce Young almost tripped on the play action. Regains his footing, gets around the, the the corner, throws it to Jordan Matthews. Jordan Matthews almost falls down on the catch. I'm going like, all right, well, they're playing on ice. Obviously, uh, they this need to Buffalo. need yeah. to grip with their toes a little bit more, and uh, and they'll be fine. But but it's it's those little things they needed to work out, and they still had success. Their first third down was a horrendous play. It was third and six. Jonathan Mingo ran the old three yard out, caught it with a guy on his back. 
fourth and three. It was just a weird either play call, either a bad route or a bad decision. We don't know because we're not on the inside of the the playbook. Mm. But either way, very, very unsuccessful third down, their first third down, but they stayed out there on fourth, pick up the first down, get rolling. By the end, the last three or four plays, it was inevitable they were going to score. I think on that third down that you talked about with Mingo, I think I think Canales had it in his mind like we're going for it on fourth. Maybe I think I, I just had think he had it in his mind like we're we're across midfield. It was let's <laughs> us let's us put it ourselves if we don't convert this third down like maybe like a catch and run by mm-hmm. Mingo, we're gonna give ourselves a look where we have consequences on fourth down. It still just felt like a very high difficult degree of difficulty for three yards. It was yeah. like let me let me have to place this ball perfectly uh, with a guy on the back of the wide receiver, and if he catches it. Awesome, fourth and three. It was just, it was just a weird like, and maybe it's him recognizing, maybe it's the play caller recognizing like weird play call for even when you want three yards. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's Bryce recognizing. Maybe it's Mingo. Also, Mingo was, and and this is where I get like, you know, I'm trying to pay attention to everything and take notes. Uh, Mingo was the most tired guy on the planet after that play. He caught the third down for three yards, went to the sideline, took his helmet off, started drinking water like he was mile twenty five of a of a marathon. Um, it was just it was it was a weird move, but you have to learn all those things. You have to get better at third downs. Sure enough, they picked it up on fourth down, and like I said, by the end, um, I really liked the one on one chance in the corner of the end zone. Could have been def- defensive pass interference on Deontay Johnson. It was uh, one of the the two incompletions. Uh, really, the only one that was an intentional incompletion for for Bryce Young, and then Jordan Matthews over the middle. You know, this is uh. <laughs> This probably shows you that it's the the Bills uh secondary or uh second string players. Cause they had their two safeties real wide down on the the, the goal line. And I was going like, throw it over the middle. The middle's open, middle's open. And then they started pre snap looking like they might rotate. And I went, wait. And then literally the the you can go back and watch the film. The safety looked almost at the camera and put his hands up into a big circle which I'm assuming meant like we're going to stay open and I was like never mind over the middle again over the middle again it's it's a, a little too on the nose with the the signals but whatever Bryce Young saw he got there it was wide open touchdown get off the sideline by the time they came out of the commercial break off after that uh that that uh touchdown drive they already had the b-roll of Bryce Young smiling and talking with the offensive line, mm-hmm. and I went perfect, great vibes. Give him the the headset; he's done for the day. Defense, your turn. I just wanted to see how the process for them looked. That's really all I cared about. It's like, all right, what's the operation look like in terms of? Are you getting the play call in smooth? Mm-hmm. How does the just the process of the offense? Did they move the ball down the field with ease? I mean, I, again, I know they're playing with the second against the second string defense, but your process doesn't change. You know, necessarily because there's different players on the field. It, you're focusing on yourself. Mm-hmm. And I thought they aced it. Really, I thought they aced it. Yeah, I, the 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 good news is once they got into their rhythm, it looked like an NFL first string against an NFL second string. Yeah, and and you can't you know just like uh, you know we say about the ACC every single year, can't choose who's on your schedule. Like you couldn't go over to the Bills and say no, 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 no. We want you to play your first string because we're playing our first string. Like, you can't do that. You can't control what the other team does. All you can do is go out there, run down the field on them, and score. Thought it was a perfect preseason single series for the offense. With that being said, it's also a preseason single series Mm -hmm. for the offense. And uh, and nobody, right, if you come out flat in week one offensively, no one is going to go, yeah, but that – Preseason game three mm-hmm. was awesome. Like it'll be forgotten as soon as it's done, but I think it served its purpose and, and I, I think it will give them confidence going into game one. And they'll have something for them to look at on film mm-hmm. to say, hey, this is us against someone else. You can this is where we didn't do well. This is a technique or something to work on. You have something to actually look at as opposed to just a practice. Learn from it. Mm-hmm. Move on. By the way, let's hear from Bryce real quick, just in his own words. His takeaways from getting live reps in the preseason. Yeah, it felt great. Um, it felt great for all of us to, to go out, um, you know, go out, play against a different team and, you know, in a game setting. Um, we got a couple different situations we got to have, which was which was great for us. Um, but really it was just, it was fun being out there, um, fun competing, fun being out there with my team, with my guys. So uh, I thought it was, thought it was great for us. 
In his own words, Bryce Young talking about preseason game three. 